Morning number seven. Morning number seven. I'm so excited that today is the last day. I just woke up. Just wanted to show you guys my eyes again. They were super crusted. Circles still there. Headaches still there. My belly is very bloated this morning. And something new is that my ankles hurt. Oh my god, it feels like, I don't know, what I kind of imagine arthritis would feel like. Very, very, very sore. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's because of the swelling or what, but my ankles and my hips are very, very sore. So that's interesting, but I just wanted to show you guys my belly. So this is before anything. I haven't had any water. This is after going to the bathroom. And it is so bloated. This is not me pushing out. That's pushing out. That's normal. That's sucking in. That's normal. I also wanted to show you guys because someone said my fingers were only swollen because I showed them after I worked out. So this is first thing in the morning, absolutely first thing in the morning, that my ring is like super, super, super tight on. Normally I can take it off. There's no way this thing is coming off. I just put my shirts on. They're so tight. My ankles are killing me at the moment. Swollen, very, very swollen. I'm super bloated. But today, still haven't had breakfast. But today, so excited, so thankful. <laughs> Day number seven. <laughs> I see. Um, what's this second to last salt meal? I can't even taste the salt anymore. Yeah, I was just asking Kaylee, how's the salt? And she said, I don't even taste it. I don't even taste it. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. But I don't taste it. I really like. I don't taste it at all. Cool. Mm -hmm. Scary. All it took is a week, and my taste buds are totally adapted. Whereas before, you guys saw the first video. What? Mm -hmm. I wonder how it's gonna be when you go without any salt. It's gonna be interesting. I'm a little bit nervous because salt was something that for me last time when I came off salt originally coming to this lifestyle was very difficult for me to give up. So it'll be interesting. But right now it's pretty funny. I have a table. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that, like just yeah. table to rest on. It's crazy. How are you doing, Miss Grumps? It's your last day. Thank God. I have to go take my blood pressure soon. I'm so uncomfortable. All my joints hurt. My belly stops so close. Belly. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> My belly is hurting. What is it doing? Hurting. <laughs> Show me with your hand. I'm not putting it. We're not putting this in. <laughs> I'm editing.
70, almost 78. Over 78? Yes. <laughs> 120 over 78. So when I came in last time, I actually ran in and it was 110 over 60. And now it's 120 over 78 from one week. One week. One week. <laughs> wow. That's significant. That's, that's crazy. One week. I feel it. I can feel my heart beating. Yeah, so for all the people that are making comments saying that we're biased and um, yes, we're I'm faking it, faking it, she can't fake this. All right, guys, so I just got back from taking my blood pressure on day number seven. And so originally when I started, it was 110 over 60, and it is now 120 over 78. So the normal... Uh, range is 100 over 60 to below 120 over 80 so I'm actually considered now just by one um, but to have pre hypertension systolic has to be below 120 and since I'm on 120 I am considered um, pre hypertension and then the diastolic number has to be below 80 so uh, it's kind of interesting the pre hypertension basically it's just um, a warning sign that you might have high blood pressure in the future. So pretty interesting that I went up that much in just a span of seven days. I definitely feel it. I can feel my heart beat more. Um, and I just don't feel normal, don't feel in balance. So that was pretty interesting to see though. So <laughs> I can't get any more of the salt out. It means I've had Pretty much that full thing, maybe from there down, just a week. In a week, that whole thing of salt. Last meal, right? Last meal. So I'm now on day seven of eating the U.S. daily average of sodium, which is 3,400 milligrams. Some people were thinking, and I think maybe I was unclear on this, that those 3,400 milligrams are coming from the actual table salt, same as what I did. And that's not true. Most of the sodium in the American diet is coming from um, hidden places. So in sauces, uh, when they cook, things in processed foods, stuff like that. So not a lot of people, I would hope, <laughs> are adding 3,400 milligrams of table salt. But the reason I was doing table salt is because I wanted to show you that it was actually coming from the sodium. And I know if I had done it using sauces, there would be somebody out there saying, oh, you gain this because of whatever, the soy and the soy sauce, I don't know, some random stuff like that. So I chose just to do added table salt. And things this week that I've noticed after seven days of eating that much sodium. So things that I noticed after doing seven days of that much sodium, one thing I wanted to know before I mention that is that I was not coming from a no-sodium diet. A lot of people were assuming that. Um, and I was not. I was getting usually around, uh, usually under 1,000 milligrams a day. Um, hardly ever would I be over that, but I was not coming from an absolute zero point. So things that I've noticed this week, uh, one of the big things is my eyes in the morning. Uh, I mean, even now, they're super puffy. Uh, I also have these circles under my eyes. The camera's not great, so you can't really see. But if you've been watching, you've noticed them. And my eyes just feel sunken in. Uh, my voice every morning has been super scratchy. And it gets better throughout the day. But first thing in the morning, it's super scratchy. Towards this end of the week, I notice that my ankles really hurt. I'm not sure if it's because of the swelling or what. But um, they're very, very sore. It's like the joints are sore. Uh, I've been super moody this week. I think that's mostly due to how uncomfortable I've been. Um, very very bloated and just it was very interesting I would eat a meal and then I know about half an hour after I eat the meal I'm gonna feel so uncomfortable the first day I was on the bed uh, almost in tears at how uncomfortable and in pain I was um, other things I'm, I'm very bloated but overall my body has gained water weight I've gained over 10 pounds of water weight 
my ring, for example, no longer comes off, um, my ankles are swollen, my pants are tight, and so I have gained 10 pounds, but it's all water weight. Another thing that I've noticed is that when I eat a meal, usually I'll eat the meal and be comfortable. Um, I'll be able to go out and go for a bike ride or something like that. But this week I would eat my meal and just be overly, overly full. Uh, not like having to sit down and hold my belly. I, and because of that, I was very inactive this week. I was super lethargic, didn't want to move, didn't really want to do a whole lot of stuff. Um, went for a few walks and a few gym sessions, but overall was very lethargic. I've had super fitful sleeps this week, not feeling rested when I wake up at all, uh, feeling like I actually just went to sleep and lots of tossing and turning, very sweaty at night as well. Um, and my sweat, when I do sweat, is so salty, which is new. Uh, my sweat beforehand, I could hardly taste any salt in it, and now it's very, very, very salty. And perhaps one of the biggest things that I've noticed this week is that I have a headache and I never get headaches but I have this throbbing pain that's in behind my temples and just pretty much from the first maybe I would say after an hour after the first meal that I had with sodium it has not gone away it's just stayed the entire week and I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I thought maybe it would come and go as I ate, but it just, it has not gone away. Another huge thing which I forgot to mention was also my blood pressure. So my blood pressure at the beginning of the week was 110 over 60, and at the end of the week it was 120 over 78. So in the span of seven days, just seven days, I my blood pressure went super high, not super high, but comparatively, and also I'm now on the verge of uh, hypertension. So those are some of the things that I've noticed after a week of doing the US daily average of sodium intake. I'm very excited for this next week where I'll be able to shed a lot of it off, a lot of the water weight and start to feel better. Uh, I really have not felt well this week at all and I understand why people, uh, so many people, even though they're vegan, even though they're sometimes even high carb and low fat, why they feel so gross. And I think for me, this has really opened my eyes. This experiment has really opened my eyes as to how much salt can affect you. And even though I was doing probably more than some people who are on this lifestyle, I, I still, salt still affects you. And so I think it's very important to take that into consideration. And I would really if you are suffering from any of the symptoms that I had this week, I would really, really encourage you to take a look at your diet and take a look at the sodium intake that you're having because it can make a huge difference. A small amount can make a huge, huge difference. So overall, I'm very excited for this week to be over and to start getting off the salt. If you guys have not seen yesterday's video, I explained that I'm going to start adding in some informational tidbits for these videos. So I'll add in... Um, if you are someone who's getting the salt out of your diet, little ways that you can help do that uh, and different ways salt is affecting your body that you might not be aware of. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoy next week. Don't forget to make your day wonderful and I'll see you again soon. I've officially gained over 10 pounds simply by consuming the U.S. daily average of sodium, which is 3,400 milligrams. Carve up and spread the fruit.